this flash and action script 3 tutorial which is suitable for CS3 and CS4 we demonstrate how to create orbit animations so you can have one object orbit around a central object and then have another object orbit around the object that's orbiting orbiting around the central object so the earth is pivoted around the sun and the moon is pivoted around the earth and it's all programmatic animations using map.scene and map.coast hope you enjoy this one and the free source file will be available at developphp.com enjoy okay first thing we'll do is create new flash file action script 3 and I'm in CS3 and you can be working in CS4 and all this code will still apply work just fine so the first thing we'll do is let's get the background to black and let's draw out three oval shapes and I'm gonna hold down shift to make sure they snap to a, a perfect oval. If I didn't hold down shift it could turn into a more oval shape but if I hold down shift it keeps it circular. That's the word I was looking for, circular. Okay so I'm gonna create the sun. Let's see. Oh good it's already got the gradient. Okay so let's make this 48 really the size really doesn't matter 48 pixels uh, let's just make the other two this one will be about 24 this is going to be for the earth let's make this 24 and let's get one more for the moon now this file will really show you the power of action script let's make this 12 action script based animations as opposed to timeline based animations okay so let's get these even coordinates there I don't like those decimal point coordinates let's turn this one a little blue there we go light blue make this a darker blue and this one let's make it gray like the moon kind of dark gray and then on top the center will make it white that way everything will have a round appearance so now let's convert this to symbol movie clip sun we'll give it an instance name of sun as well instance name in the prop in the uh, properties panel here Sun convert this to a movie clip earth so it's named earth in the library and we give an instance name of earth do the same to the moon convert to symbol moon movie clip control C okay put it down here in the instance name in the properties panel for that object. Okay, now each has an instance name and each is a movie clip symbol. Let's go to filters and give the sun a glow of yellow. Make it a little stronger than that. Blur it out. Make it like a medium. Maybe not. Right about there. Okay, let's take the sun and put it in the center the other two it doesn't matter where they are but everything will be based around the sun okay so now what we have to do is pop in the script explain that let's call this planets and put a new layer above it call that AS3 for action script 3 okay now I debated coding this out line by line and I I decided against it because it would have been like a 30 40 minute video and nobody wants that we want the code and we want to see how it works right and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna pop in the script and as you can see it's 27 lines that take care of the whole thing and it already has everything we need it's already targeting our instance names and let's see how it works before I explain each line press control enter 
Uh, you can see the animation was slow and groggy so you turn your frame rate up to 30 frames per second and that will also vary or variate your speed augment your speed of your animation so you can see what we have here is the earth with a perfect orbit around the sun and then the moon with a perfect orbit around earth as the earth goes around the sun now I'll show you how I pulled that off what we did here is the first thing is we set the sun gravity X and the sun gravity Y which is the dead center point for that object right there and the way we get that dead center point for that object is we claim this variable as a number and its value is going to be the sun's x position plus the sun's width times one half times 0.5 so the sun's x position where it is on stage right here it's at 254 its x position plus the sun's width times 0.5 and then we take that, the sun's uh, width times 0.5, and divide it by 2. So really it's the sun.x position plus the sun.width times 5 divided by 2. Okay? And then we have the same thing for the y position. It's pretty much doing the same exact thing except for the y position on the stage and the height property of that Sun movie clip okay and then the next line is here in this script we're using math.scene and math.cos and you can read up all about those and what they do they really allow for a lot of cool animations uh, custom animations that you can create and it's not just orbits all kind of really cool animations that you can achieve with math.sin and math.cos and you can look up all about that in the flash help file if you have CS3 or if you have CS4 you have to go online and look at the crappy website ha the flash CS3 help file is a whole lot better I think okay so let's see where are we here we claim some variables that are for the the scene of the moon and the scene for the earth this is going to be the variable that's changing here inside of the on enter frame event and I'll talk about those in a second here but right here we're just getting those ready for use in the script below in the on enter frame event so we we get those variables defined and claimed and set right here 4 through 7 lines 4 through 7 and line 8 we claim a variable which can be whatever we want for the diameter of the moon the earth going around the sun it's 100 pixels then the diameter of the orbit of the moon going around the earth so the earth's orbit diameter is 24 the sun's orbit diameter is 100 so 100 it's about you can see right here from here to here is 100 and then from here to here is whatever that other number was 24 okay so the orbit speed 1 and orbit speed 2 are also number variables and I set them as 4 and you can see I use the orbit speeds here down in the math scene and math cos equations okay so now here's the, the where all the magic happens really is on line 13 in the add event listener for the on enter frame event so every time the the frame is accessed so we have 30 frames per second so every time it'll do uh, it'll run this function 30 times a second so and since we only have one frame it's going to be hitting that frame 30 times a second okay so the first thing we do inside of that function here you can see the nest closes the function nest closes on 27 and the function begins on line 14 and here on line 13 is just the event listener to fire this function off that starts on line 14 then on line 16 we claim variable 
the same exact thing we did here for the sun to access the center point of the sun the exact center point we want to access the exact center point of the earth but as the earth moves around so this variable has to be inside of the on enter frame event to follow the earth this variable has to change all the time which you could have claimed this variable up here and then just change it down here but I just thought I would claim it inside of the on enter frame event which you can go about that different ways but this works really good to keep the moon stuck going around the earth as the earth moves around the sun If you didn't have that inside of this event listener and you had it outside of here it wouldn't go around the earth the way it should <clears throat> All right, so here we set the scene. We use the variables that we set up here inside of the on enter frame event, and we're incrementing them. We're incrementing them every time this event happens, and what that does is it augments the the uh, the angle point of the rotation. So all four of these do that same thing so you can see for the the scene moon and the cause for the moon and the scene for the earth and the cause for the earth are set to different values these are a lot smaller than for the moon so we use those values here scene earth cause earth scene moon cause moon we use those here and now let's explain one of those lines and all four of these lines here are pretty much the same so I'll explain the first one and you can pretty much go with the other four with identical functionality okay so the earth's dot x right here when we claim this we're saying we want to move that object we're moving the earth and we're moving the moon and we're moving its x position and y position and its position is always going to be changing so these this equation is always changing because these are always changing as well okay so what happens is 30, 30 times a second this thing is firing off and always changing these numbers okay so the earth's dot x position is equal to math dot scene and the equation of the math dot scene is the scene earth number sin however you say that sin scene sin earth number times the orbit speed one which we set to four now that gets computed and then that gets multiplied by the sun orbit diameter which is here sun orbit diameter we set to 100 plus the sun gravity x sun gravity x is the number we claimed here for the dead center point of the sun so it's a little tricky and you gotta look at the math a little bit basically we are multiplying the sin earth times the orbit speed one and that number is multiplied by the sun orbit diameter plus the sun's gravity x and those numbers are all sitting right up here and you can see each one of these numbers in reference where they are here and what they do and it's a little tricky to figure out but that's how it all works and once you wrap your head around it you can you know start to create really custom cool animations that you can scratch code without anybody's help and have you know really cool unique stuff that is all programmatic you know it's all programmatic all this animation okay so that's how it works you can put more planets you can make the whole solar system if you want and uh, I, I know mine is going, my moon's going a little fast around my earth in relation to how fast the earth is moving around the sun but I was just throwing up numbers you can adjust it all to be accurate if you want to be a super dork like that and I'm gonna put this file up at uh, develop PHP in the flash section that way you guys can just get at it and download it if you want to get to the code and see all the elements I have on stage or you can just reference the code on that same page sitting under the video and the download button for the source file okay see you later